Welcome to October's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is sort list. Given the head of a linked list, return the list, list after sorting it. Can you sort the linked list in n log n time and o of one memory? So the way I know to do that with sorting is generally quick sort. But unfortunately, we can't use quick sort with linked lists, right? And the reason for that is we're not able to jump index points easily inside of a linked list. We can only move forwards. So what can we do to combat that? Well. Let's start with the first approach by going through our linked list one time and appending our values into some sort of array. Then we can sort the array and rebuild our linked list. So that would be the easiest method. What we do is first have a current pointer point to the head and we'll say have a temp list. We'll say while cur, we will add to our temp array the current dot value. And then we're gonna move our pointer to the next one. So now we have our temp array with all the values in order. We want to sort that. And this is the part that's gonna be n log n. Uh, now all we need to do is rebuild our linked list, right? To do that, I will have a dummy node that's gonna allow us to remember the head. And we'll say, all right, cur, make it equal to dummy. And we'll say, for all the values inside of our temp array, we will we create our linked list. We'll say cur.next equals the list node of the value and then move our current pointer to the next. After that, we can just return the head and we have that with our dummy node. The dummy.next is pointing to the head there. So this works in, times of, in terms of time complexity, it's n log n, uh, but unfortunately we use o of n space as well as we have to recreate our linked list. So that might not fly. In fact, this in a lot of ways is cheating because we're using built-in methods. So what's another way that we can do it? Well, uh, what about bubble sort? Bubble sort allows us to use constant space and we can use bubble sort with a linked list, right? Because we can move through the um, linked list in order and just swap values whenever we find the current node value is greater than the next one. And we'll have to do it multiple times, n times to be exact, so this ends up becoming n squared. But let's just see if um, we could implement this. We first need to have the n because we need to know what's, since we're moving the largest value to the end and then the second largest value to the uh, second to the right of the end and so on and so forth, we need to know how many times we can do that. So let's first figure out what n equals. Uh, to do that, we'll have a current pointer. And we'll just say while cur, increase our n by one and move our point, pointer. Okay, so now that we know what our n is, we will have to have our nested loop here. And we'll have to have some iterator values to keep track of where we are. We'll have i equals zero in the beginning. And we will say while i is less than n, and now we need another value for j, and we'll say while j is less than n minus i and make sure that current dot next exists and i actually think we need to initialize the current here Let's start with the head every time and what we'll do is say if cur dot value is greater than the cur dot next value we want to swap these two so that's fairly easy we just need to say cur dot next dot value equals cur.next.value, cur.next. So notice that we're not restructuring this linked list in any way, we're just change, swapping the values themselves. Uh, and, and that's fine, this, this would totally work. Um, now we just increase our j like this, and we increase our i down here like this. After that, we can just return the head, and this would be constant space. Oh, uh, let's see, cur.value. Hmm, if value curl on next dot value. Whoops. So it's my fault. Okay, some typos there. Um there you go. So this works. But if I submit this, it's gonna reach a time limit exception. And the reason for that is unfortunately n log n time complexity. So this isn't gonna work either. Um, it looked like it was about to work, but nope, it's not going to. 
So what's another sorting algorithm that we know? There is merge sort, right? We could use merge sort. That is n log n time, but we do need to use some extra memory to do that. But I think for this solution, we're just going to go with merge sort because um, the way of using constant space is so complicated. I, I don't think it's really worth me going into. Uh, so let's just go with merge sort here and think about how we do that. If you remember with merge sort, basically we split our list. Here it's going to be a linked list into a left side and a right side right down the middle, right? So we need to get the midpoint with the midpoint and we will have to recursively call our sorting on the left side and the right side. So recursive. And then at the very end, we will merge the two sides and return whatever uh, the resulting list is there. So uh, we'll have to have some extra helper methods here. We'll have one called uh, finding the midpoint. And this is going to pass in the head and just return the middle node as the as the mid node. Um, yeah, the middle point. But one thing to keep in mind is we also need to split our linked list uh, as so that when we move through it, it will know to stop for the for the new left side. So we also need to make sure to split this linked list. And to do that, we will use a method called the slow and fast pointer. And slow fast pointer basically just has two pointers in the beginning. One moves at a space of, like at a range of just one moves up to the next, while the other one moves next next. And as soon as that fast pointer reaches a point that it can't go to the next next, we take our slow pointer and get whatever is it's pointing to next. That's going to be our midpoint. And the algorithm works. Don't want to go into it too much, but that's just one of the methods of uh, linked list. So let's first have a slow and fast pointer. And what we'll do is say while fast.next and fast.next.next. .next. And the reason we need this fast.next is because we could have a null value here, which is going to throw an exception. And what we'll do is say, all right, slow, just point it to slow.next while fast, point it to fast.next.next. So once we're out of this loop here, our midpoint is basically going to be the slow.next. And one thing to note is we need to um, get our slope dot next pointer now to be pointing to null. This is how we split the left side and the right side. So now we have like two heads. Uh, finally, just return the head, or I'm sorry, return the mid. And our head now is broken to the left side while this midpoint is like the new head. Okay, so now that we have that met method, we can say, all right, mid, uh, just pass the midpoint, pass in the head, and now we have our mid. So now we want to pass our left and right side recursively. So to do that, both of these will, will return a left and right. And what we'll do is just recursively call this sort list. And we'll pass in on the left side the head. And now it's remember that we've split it here so that it's going to end um, at the midpoint or right before the midpoint. So now it's going to split like again and again, while the right side, we have to pass in the, the mid. All right, so now we need to have some sort of merge uh, merge function, merge helper method, and that's going to be, let's we'll call it merge, and we will pass in the left and right, and whatever gets returned here, the new head is going to be the new sorted list. So this is our last part. We need to write our merge algorithm and this passes in what? The left and right side. And how does this work? So to do that, we will start with creating a dummy node. And actually have the current pointer point to that as well. And this will allow us to keep track of what's the head, right? All right, so while there's a left and a right, what we say is, look, if the left dot value is less than the right dot value, whoops, less than the right dot value, what do we do? Okay, well, 
first we need to have our current pointer dot next equal to our left head, right? Um, and then we're going to point our current to the current dot next so that we move our current pointer. And we'll also have to move our left. We'll have to say left equals left dot next. Otherwise, we will say curve dot next equals right, curve equals curve dot next, and right equals right dot next. Now, once this is finished, we know that we've completed one side, left or the right. So all we need to do is take our current on next and make it equal to either the left or the right. So it's left or right, whatever is left. If left is now null, then it's going to move to the right. Um, if right was null, then in theory, left should have some values left. So that would be that. So finally, after that, I think we just return the dummy.next the same way because that's going to be pointing to the head in the very beginning. All right, so let's make sure that I got this right here. Just to reiterate, we first find our midpoint and split the list. So now we get the head, recursively call that. Uh, we also have to recursively call the right side, the new head here, which is the midpoint. And whatever gets returned, the new heads, we will merge them. So let me sh make sure this works. Uh, okay, so it looks like I've messed something up here. Um, hmm, I'm guessing. that we've recursive call. So I guess we need some sort of base case here. So say like if not head or not head dot next return uh, whatever the head was passed in. So I, I think that's why it's happening. We need to have obviously this is going to keep calling if we don't even if we pass null values, right? So, yep, there we go. So this does work. Uh, my mistake, let's go ahead and try to submit that. And there we go, accepted. <laughs> All right, so this, I don't know. Um, in some ways it's pretty basic. In a lot of other ways though, I don't think this is that easy. And unfortunately I wasn't even able to do this in constant space. This would be uh, basically extra O of n space, but it is n log n time complexity. How can we do it in constant space? Well, they do offer the solution here if you want to take a look, but <laughs> it was way too much. I mean, this it, even this I thought was kind of long for a legal question to like write out. So if you really want to know, like go ahead and look it up, but I don't think I'm going to go into it today. Just don't have time. So thanks for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.